Hey guys, welcome to CAD Designer channel. In this tutorial, I am going to assemble and simulate single cylinder engine. So let's start. I have already designed the engine parts. So insert these parts into the assembly workbench by clicking on insert then select existing component and insert each file into the assembly workbench. Then separate these parts by using manipulation tool for easy understanding. Then provide constraint between these parts. So first of all, you have to provide constant constraint between piston and the cylinder. So you have to select their axis then update after that move the piston in the downward by using manipulation tool then provide constant constraint between piston and gudgeon pin so select their axis then update set the gudgeon pin into the piston using manipulation after that provide constant constraint between connecting rod and the gudgeon pin by selecting their axis and click on update then provide offset constraint so select their outer axis, outer surface and provide offset then update okay. then rotate the connecting rod so select their small end axis and manipulate and rotate it about their, this axis after that provide constant constraint between connecting rod and the crankshaft then provide contact constraint between crankshaft and connecting rod by selecting their outer surface then update and then delete this contact constraint and provide offset constraint between them select the router surface and provide offset then update After that provide angle constraint between cylinder and the piston and provide 90 degree angle. Then provide constant constraint between flywheel and the crankshaft and select their axis and click on update. Then the flywheel align with the respect to crankshaft. After that, provide contact constraint with, between flywheel and the crankshaft. So select the router surface and then delete this uh, contact constraint and provide offset constraint to select the router surface and provide some offset between them. then click on ok and update now fix together the crankshaft and the high wheel
okay after that provide constant constraint between crankshaft and the crankcase then move the crankcase towards the center by using manipulation tool then delete the fixed constraint of the cylinder and move cylinder downward and provide joint between them and fix cylinder as well as crankcase by using fix constraint and so this is our complete assembly of single cylinder engine then we have to check whether our constraint right or wrong so click on manipulation and then select drag around any axis and also select with respect to constraint and select the axis about that the system is rotated so select the axis of both cranks up and rotate manually then the system is working properly now simulate the engine click on start button then select digital mockup and in which select dmu kinematics module there are different type of joint like prismatic joint revolution joint cylindrical joint discrete joint so on so first of all select the prismatic joint between cylinder and the piston so before applying prismatic joint first of all create the plane on both the plane so select the cylinder and right click on them and select the center graph then double click then drawing portion is open in which create the plane on the curved surface of the cylinder same process follow for the piston then double click on the piston then create the plane on the curved part of the piston applying the prismatic joint between piston and cylinder so click on new mechanism and select their axis and select their plane of both the parts click on okay now applying prismatic joint between piston and the gudgeon pin so select their axis of both parts and then select the outer surface of the both parts and click on offset and select the angle driven then click on okay after that prismatic joint provide between gudgeon pin and the connecting rod so select the, the surface axis of both parts and then outer surface and click on offset then click on okay then now provide the prismatic joint between connecting rod and the crank shaft but there are some problem that the axis of both part are not overlap each other there are some offset between them 
so first of all we have to eliminate the this error so click on assembly part assembly design then delete some constraint that provide between connecting rod and the crank shaft After that, reapplying these constraints between them, click on update. Then going to DMU kinematics module. Then applying the prismatic joint between them, select their axis and the plane, and click on offset. Then click on OK. Now provide prismatic joint between connect crank shaft and the crank case. So select their axis and select their outer surface and click on offset and click on click on angle driven and click on OK. Now provide the rigid joint between crankcase and the cylinder. And fix and also provide the rigid joint between flywheel and the crank shaft. And fix the crankcase. Now hide the some extra plane and the point then click on simulate and select the mechanism 1 then insert click on insert and change the loop setting and change the speed of the mechanism and click on start so our mechanism is working this is the single mechanism of single cylinder engine. 